So, things have gotten even crazier since my last post. After I cancelled the sale of the house, I thought that would be the end of it. But no, Jack, Sally's ex-boyfriend, didn't take it too well. Apparently he had already taken a deposit from the couple who wanted to buy the house. And get this, he had already spent the money. Yeah, you read that right. This guy who was supposed to be handling the deal professionally was so sure the sale was going through that he took money up front from the buyers and then spent it. Now he's stuck, and he's furious because he doesn't have the house to sell or the money to pay them back. He came to me, all worked up, asking me what it would take to make the sale go through. He was practically begging. I looked him straight in the eye and said, nothing. There's no way I'm selling that house to him now. Especially not after I did a little digging and found out that Jack has a long history of pulling shady real estate deals all over town. He's got a reputation for scamming people, taking money and not delivering, overcharging, under-delivering, you name it. And the fact that Sally was trying to push this deal on me knowing his track record just makes it worse. Speaking of Sally, she hasn't let up either. After Jack's little meltdown, she tried one last time to trick me into selling the house. She came to me, acting all sweet and apologetic, saying she realized she made a mistake, that she was just trying to help me, and we should just move forward and sell the house. She even threw in some line about how it would be the best way to honor my dad's memory, as if selling his home to her shady ex-boyfriend would somehow be a tribute to him. But I saw right through it, I've learned my lesson. I told her no, again, and this time I made it clear that the conversation was over. I'm done with her lies, her manipulation and her attempts to sell me out, literally and figuratively. Now Jack's in a mess because he owes the couple a ton of money, and he's got no house to sell. Sally's still trying to save face, but it's clear she was in on this from the beginning. She thought she could manipulate me into making a terrible deal, and now they're both paying the price. I'm staying in the house for now, it might need a lot of work but I'll figure it out. What I'm not going to do is let these people take advantage of me again. Lesson learned.